there is nothing on planet Earth, perhaps in the universe, as important to God as life. Mm. Jesus said that he came that we might have life mm -hmm. and have it more abundantly. Yes. My goodness, what a, what a mission. And mm -hmm. Mark Chase, mm -hmm. that's your mission. That is my mission. To awaken people mm -hmm. to life. Yes. Today we've got two little shoes, mm -hmm. empty shoes here. Mm -hmm. They represent the lives of little children who have been snuffed out before they take their first breath yes. in the state of South Dakota. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? Hmm. We're going to do a couple of things. South Dakota Family Policy Council has con continued to be at the state during the legislative session, lobbying for good legislation to be passed that will continue to tighten the noose around this idea of abortion, that we would pass laws that say we are a state that stands for life. Wouldn't it be great if South Dakota became the first abortion-free state in the nation? It'd be tremendous. We've, we've tried that and, we've been, and we will continue to work for that. Uh, we have many at our state legislative uh, uh, um, level who stand for life and we will continue to work with yes. them who want to see the end of abortion in our state. You reminded me this morning uh, that there are probably 4,000 abortions done in you know, or in women South in South Dakota alone on an annual basis. Yes. That's 4,000 too many. Oh, Lord. And outside of the halls of the state legislature, share with our viewers what your plan is. What are you going to do? Well, what we're going, a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to bring truth into our state, into our communities. And one of the things that we want to do is we want to provide forums and debates. We want to bring in leading experts from the pro-life side and those quote leading experts from the pro-choice side and provide public debates. We know and we stand confidently on the truth of God's Word that truth will always prevail. Isn't it, uh, isn't it amazing that you're going to provide South Dakota mm -hmm. with information mm -hmm. to do what Scripture commanded. Mm -hmm. God said this day I set before you life and death. Choose life. Choose life. And that's where, yes. Gordon, I have to say this. I will oftentimes say to people, did you know that God is pro-choice? And they throw their arms up, they're stunned. I say, and I quote that verse. He said, I certainly is. Yes. He lays before us life and death. Choose life though, he says. Yes. He lays before us, he gives us the choice, life or death. But you can see, here's the problem with sin. Sin always goes towards death. Yes, it does. Death, destruction, bondage. Mm -hmm. Yes. And God says, choose life. Why? That we might live. And that's the choice we need to be making. Life. Well, I'm excited that you are in South Dakota on this mission mm -hmm. because what we need is a big dose of truth. Mm -hmm. When the truth, when people really know the truth about abortion, mm -hmm. that there, it isn't just, we're not talking about the woman's body. No. It's a totally separate, unique, mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, distinct creation mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, in the name of choice, it's being snuffed out. That's correct. Any human being, whether it's a woman or a man, should have the legal right to do whatever they want to their own body. If I wanted to, Gordon, if I wanted to cut off my fingers, I should have the legal right to cut off my fingers. I might try and talk you out of that. Yes, you might want to cut, talk me out of that. But I, I should have the legal right to do whatever I want to my body. However, you and I know that when that egg and that sperm meet, and there's conception there, and they meet, a whole new life has been formed. New DNA. New DNA. Yeah new DNA, and it now embeds itself in the wall of the uterus of that woman. It's a separate entity. It's not her body. She should not legally have the right to be able to end that life. You know who has the right to end that life, should he choose it, is God alone has the right to end that life. You know, on that note, I think we're going to conclude because that is the conclusion of the whole matter. Yes. You know, it says, I believe in Ecclesiastes, uh, this is the whole duty of man, serve God yes. and keep his commandments. Yes. Well, God is supreme yes. and we should not be playing God. Amen.